okay guys uh, so welcome to another tutorial of mysql replication so today we are going to uh, create another mysql replication example but uh, last time we used the procon extra backup but there is another way to do it uh, using the procon backup but we have we will be doing it by using the stream uh, component it has provide so uh, what actually we are going to do is that we will combine the XP stream utility with the power of uh, PIGZ. Okay, it's a big, it's a uh, what do you say? It's a compressor. So it use we use it for compressing. It's called PIGZ, and we will use the socket uh, through which we will be sending the backup live from MySQL one to MySQL four. So to take the advantage of multi processing in the case of we in case we have the multiple processors and at the same time uh, it reduced the use of the network bandwidth and in cases where the component of the uh, like where network network component uh, are the bottlenecks so that is why uh, we will use the pigz so we can uh, compress it live and send it over the network uh, to uh, our target server so that's what we hear and um, xp stream works for like uh, we can use parallelism but only if you have uh, multiple processors so that's uh, where it can help us so for first uh, we need to check if we have these two variables and uh, sorry those two utilities so let's pagz minus v uh, yes uh, i have it uh, minus h okay and then we have uh, socket uh, let's see if we have socket as well socket minus h yeah we have it and if it's not there all you need to do is jump just uh, uh, yum install socket and yum install pagz and just like this yum install pigz so it's already there so it's not uh, going to install it minus y so that's why it's saying that it's already installed uh, in case you want to install the socket I actually I'm doing doing this on the second server uh, it's going to be our, our target one okay so we have socket and pigz on both of the server so let me clear the screen okay so uh, first we also need to check if we have our mysql user for the replication and as I have as this is a part of already uh, going uh, labs so i have already created these video this uh, user in the first uh, tutorial where i configured the mysql uh, replication using dump uh, mysql dump from mysql 1 to mysql 2 and this one we are doing it to mysql 1 server to mysql 4 so we already have configured two replication mysql dump and using Paragona extra backup and show ground for a slave so uh, it's okay we have it uh, replication slab and replication client we already have this user so we don't need to create this user so okay so what next we need to do is that uh, exit from here and now let's take the advantages of socket and pigz and for that uh, what we are going to have uh, yeah one more thing you have to install you need to install uh, have extra backup okay and we have it so yeah we have the extra backup install if you see here on the both servers so that's the prereqs uh, on doing that so uh, first what we are going to do is that um, we will stop the mysql on the target server okay which is this and once this is stopped let's see status i like to do the checks because uh, you should be doing the checks and all that okay so then let's remove everything which is inside our let's first check ll slash this is our data directory how do we know we know it from cat slash etc my dot cnf here and in key in and if i want to ll this this it has everything but we don't not we don't need this because it is a fresh installation and we want everything from mysql1 so we will uh, delete everything from here r minus rf and let's do it yes now it's clean 
okay still there why is it still there where am i standing okay i'm standing at the wrong location so it has nothing now uh, everything is deleted from the uh, this location okay now we will uh, xb stream the backup from the uh, master server like from the source server which is our mysql one and we will store it what we are doing is that use the socket okay for uh, and get everything coming on this port uh, tetra 4 and and this is uh, something you use studio and pigs this is our uh, compression okay we're using the parallel 4 and x big stream we're using parallel 4 and this is our location tell everything should come to this location okay now it's listening at this port so when everything is sent from the mysql one it will stop listening here okay so now we will have to send uh, all the data from the mysql one uh, everything is running here okay status mysql uh, mysql yeah sql d oh okay so it's running our master uh, or uh, source replication is uh, source server is running now we need to uh, take a xp stream backup to our source okay the what this command does is that extra backup it's uh, start with the extra backup keyword obviously that's the tool we are using and we are telling him that this is your configuration file um, default file uh, where it will know that what is my data directory it will take everything from there uh, taking him for a full backup uh, yes then it is the root user and this is the password okay uh, and this is a uh, utility we are telling him that use xp stream parallel 4 no no timestamp data directory like it is going to be stored in the temp and then it will zip it and then here is zipping it and then it will send it over the network so our backup has started and it, because it's not that big so it should be done in a few seconds yeah so it's saying that your backup has been completed now if you see here now it stopped listening and everything is back slash war slash lib slash mysql okay so everything is here but it came from uh, the other server because you see here test and test 2 but if you previously recall we didn't had any test 2 and all that okay so that's the news news that's coming from the uh, mysql one okay now obviously once you take a full backup in extra backup uh, you have to prepare the backup so just a simple command uh, extra backup uh, use memory like how mem how much memory you want to use uh, and that's it it's not going to use one gig but uh, you can give it uh, based on your ram you have okay so now it's preparing our backup now the prepare has been completed and if you run ll so now this is something um, you see here so now we are able to start our mysql okay but before that obviously we need to change the ownership of this if you see here it's all root so we need to change all of this okay so let's do that okay ch on minus r mysql every time this happens to me i don't know why ch on minus r mysql dot mysql slash or slash name slash okay yeah so this is the command uh, which you guys uh, have to run this one and it will uh, change your uh, ownership so now we are able to start our mysql and to start it uh, let's start system cts start mysql d okay and if you want to check slash war lib slash war log yeah log mysql log so it's okay it's fine it's uh, it's saying that uh, where it is it's did us crash recovery as well and it should say yeah it's ready for connection yeah here it is okay so now it's done uh, and let's check our system status just another check yeah it's running and now it's everything is fine so let's connect to our mysql okay it's using the same password so that is why i'm connecting it directly otherwise you have to provide the password and bef because i have already saved it here uh, my root password is already here uh, 
my.cnf yeah if you see here that is why i'm not providing the password so don't get confused if you don't have it you can save it here in this location just create uh, vi and paste this and it will open a file and you can save uh, the content after under the client section so uh, and yes uh, if you see here as well we do have the grants now we are going to do mysql 4 okay uh, if you can check from there as well okay now we need to create our master uh, the change master command but for that uh, what we need is that we need the uh, what do you say we need the position so from where we can start our uh, uh, from where we can tell our uh, slave to uh, get the data from here so for that uh, there is a file uh, we call it that uh, extra backup uh, bin log info so everything is available in there uh, just like in the uh, previous one we did so if, if yeah, I go there slash war uh, lib mysql and there is a file yeah the, this one it has the binary log information and the position till which we want to copy the backup uh, okay so it also have is also available in this file as well if you want to check yeah there you see uh, 13 and 156 and uh, 13 and 156 so let me make my own command here and, and let me show you that okay let's log into mysql and okay so what we are doing here is that change master to master uh, it's coming here like this because i'm copying it from a file uh, let me remove this just a minute guys and let so i can give you a clear idea uh, master master user master master user actually i'm using a kind of a software uh, which converts the underscore which changed underscore with the forward slash so that is why so we have changed master to master host which is this is our master ip which is mysql1 this is the slave user we are using if you see here uh, show grants we are added yeah here this one so we're using this user and uh, this is the password for the user uh, this is the master bin log file uh, which we got it from here if you see here and this is the position and we have pasted it here so let's start our uh, okay so show warnings what does this warning shows let me show you guys show warnings okay it's saying that change master is deprecated and change the replication source host and source user so master users uh, wherever it is a master it has changed to the source so that is why uh, it's saying that okay so you can ignore it in this version uh, of the mysql but obviously in the upcoming uh, uh, in the 24 and 25 uh, it has been changed to these values so you can you should use these values but obviously some people are using 5.7 and all that and they want to test all the these things so that is why i didn't uh went for the the new terminology so let's start our slave okay and it should start so let's check or show slave status slash g okay fatal error i have third stop because the master slave equal to the okay one more error again <laughs> same thing last time we uh, happened to us and um, that is because if you see here cat slash etc okay it's not here so it should be it's something like i think uh, show variables like okay server so this is our server id and which is one and if you check from here as well uh, mysql from if you check on the mysql one select edit that is one so that is why it's the issue and we need to restart our ser server and to do that first we need to edit our this thing so vi slash etc my rcnf okay escape i 
two no three no four because we already running uh, two and three in this topology that is why i went for the four system ctl okay it's not here so let's restart it system ctl restart my sql okay guys so it should start and we will see okay yeah it's done and let's check our so if you see here it's now four okay that's that's good start slave i guess it should be running okay show slave status okay guys so it's running now everything is fine working yes yes and all that and let's test it again uh, let me give you a test uh, show databases create database x b stream and let's check the show databases again xb stream is here and okay xb stream is here so now if you see here uh, if I drop the database from here now, uh, drop database XP stream. And if you see here, it's not there anymore. So, okay, our replication is working fine, and that's it, guys, for today. And I hope so you have liked it. So, please see you in the next video.